This channel earns up to $54,000 per month by creating videos without showing their faces about animated stories for kids. The beauty of it is that creating such content is easy and doesn't require any prior knowledge. You just need to be creative in your ideas. And that's exactly what we'll do in this video. All you have to do is follow each step and do what I do to learn. After that, create your own content. This video is divided into two parts. The first part is writing the script, and the second part is creating the animated story. For writing the script, you can do it yourself if you're creative in this regard. If you need help, we'll follow the process using ChatGPT. I won't take up much of your time, so let's start the video. You're going to type this script to ChatGPT. Write me a short script for my YouTube video about kids' animation. This script should be about making friends, and the characters should be kids. Based on this script, you can choose any niche to work on. You must be creative. You can also create many stories, meaning many videos. After that, let's click Send to see what it gives us. Great. Amazing. We'll work on this script, The Friendship Adventure, a kid's animation special, which revolves around two young children who want to play with each other in the playground. Tim and Lily, with the narrator describing the events. We will create a playground as the background of the scene. After that, we'll create the characters and then add voice and background music to make it more appealing. We will create a playground as the background. After that, we'll create the characters and then add voice and background music to make it more appealing. We will do all of this on Eleven Labs and Canva. So what are we waiting for? Let's earn some money. Let's start by creating the voice on Eleven Labs. For me, I'll choose three voices. The narrator will have Dorothy's voice, Tim will have Mimi's voice, and Lily will have Gigi's voice. Let's start with the narrator, Dorothy. I'll go back to ChatGPT and copy the first script for the narrator. Then paste it here and click on Generate. Meet Lily and Tim, two lively kids with boundless energy. Once done, we can click here to download the voice. Awesome. Now, let's move on to creating the other voices for Tim and Lily. We'll follow the same process for Mimi and Gigi. After that, place each voice in a file named after the character and number the voices in order. This helps us organize our work because later on, we'll have many voices. And now, the most important step, let's go to Canva. We will create the playground as a background image and then create the characters. Let's start with the playground. Go to Elements, type Garden, then search for Graphics. Press Enter and you'll see various images. Choose a picture of a garden that you like. As for me, I'll choose this image and place it here. I'll enlarge it to cover the entire screen. Great. Now, I'll search for the sun. This one looks suitable for me. I'll add eyes and a mouth and make it spin. Kids love that. To do this, go back to Elements, type Cartoon Face, go to Graphics, choose a suitable face. Canva provides many examples. I'll choose this face because I find it more appealing. To make it more suitable, I'll move it and enlarge the sun a bit. Awesome! Now, let's make the sun spin. To do that, click on the sun, go to Animate, scroll down, choose what suits you. For me, I'll choose Rotate and reduce the speed a bit. After that, I'll add a tree that kids love. To do this, go back to Elements and type Cartoon Tree. As usual, choose Graphics. Canva provides many cartoon trees that kids love. I like this tree, so I'll choose it, place it here, and enlarge it a bit. Wonderful. Now, I'll add a bird. Again, in Elements, type Cartoon Bird. I think you've understood my process. It's fun. Choose graphics, then the first option. Let's reduce it a bit, then place it here. After that, I'll move the bird as if it's flying. To do this, go to Animate, then click on Create and Animate. Hold the bird and move it to make it look like it's flying in this way. To make it seem like no one is moving it and to make the flying look real for children, choose Steady. Scroll down and select Wiggle. Press again, then decrease the intensity. I'll add a dog now. Type cartoon dog. I like this one, so I'll choose it. Then, I'll reduce it a bit and place it here. Next, I'll add a cat in the same way and put it behind the tree by right-clicking, selecting layer, and then send backward. Now, 
To make the playground look like a real play area, I'll add more toys. Type playground in elements, then choose graphics. Select various toys that kids love and place each one in its spot. Great, now I'll add some children to make it look like there's life in the playground. Type kids, then go to graphics. I'll add a cheerful little girl and also a playful little boy in the same way. Didn't I tell you that this method is fun for creating content like this? I'll make the children move to make them look more realistic by going to animate and then wiggle. Great, now we will add the characters. I'll start by adding Tim. Always in elements, I'll type little boy, then choose graphics. I'll select this child, place him here, and enlarge him a bit. Now, I'll add Lily in the same way as I added Tim. Next, I'll move Tim as if he's walking towards Lily. Click on Tim, go to animate, then create an animate. Move Tim to the middle of the path. Then click on Steady, reduce the speed a bit, then Wiggle, and reduce the intensity. We'll do the same with Lily, moving her towards Tim. After that, we'll add a second scene by clicking on the three dots, then choosing Duplicate. In the second scene, we'll undo any movement we applied to Tim and Lily and place them near each other, where they ended up in the previous scene. Now, we'll add the narrator's voice describing the scene while Lily and Tim are moving. Make the first scene the same duration as the voice. Meet Lily and Tim, two lively kids with boundless energy playing in the whimsical playground. Now, we'll add Lily's voice in the second scene, and we'll cut the second scene when Lily finishes speaking. Hi, I'm Lily. Wanna play? Then we'll add Tim's voice in the third clip. Sure. What do you wanna play? To make it seem like Lily and Tim are talking, we'll move them while they speak by going to animate, then wiggle, and reducing the intensity. Now, in the first scene, We'll add the narrator's dialogue in a beautiful font suitable for children. Move it to make it more attention-grabbing by going to Animate, then Fade, and choosing Characters. Then select the speed that suits you. Next, we'll add a shape above Lily and Tim and place the spoken words on it. Type talk, choose a suitable shape, make it white, and add the dialogue. In this way, we'll make the animation attractive and loved by children. Try using colors like yellow, red, and green because children love vibrant colors. With this, we've completed the first scene. The last thing we'll add is background music. Go to the Pixabay library because the music there is free. Type kids, then choose music. Select the music you like, download it, and add it to Canva. After that, reduce the volume to 10 or lower. For me, I'll stick with this, while you'll create the entire video in the same way. Let's see the result after downloading the video from Canva. Meet Lily and Tim, two lively kids with boundless energy playing in the whimsical playground. Hi, I'm Lily. Wanna play? Sure. What do you wanna play? 